Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a legendary artifact creature dragon mythic that is just a wow. Now, I wanted to take a moment and consider the leaks. So a lot of people want to know how this deck was leaked. And it was from an Instagram account. This person was previously called MTG Nobi, N-O-O-B-I-E. I've actually seen him in the comment section and I believe he has a YouTube channel. He used to have a Twitter and he has since shut down his Instagram profile because Wizards of the Coast contacted him and I will show you uh, screenshots of his comments because now if you look for his Instagram, it's completely gone. There is, he had to turn off his Instagram. Right before he turned it off, he said Wizards of the Coast contacted him. But wow, I mean, imagine being able to get a whole deck. We are still in May, getting the 2017 Dragon uh, Tribal deck. I would not have realized it was five color Dragon Tribal. That's a surprise. Getting the entire deck early. It's amazing. I don't know why it keeps happening or what Wizards of the Coast can do to prevent it, but this is not the single time it's happened. Actually, it, when it happened last time, I can remember, they banned a bunch of judges and those judges are now suing them. Or maybe they settled. Who knows what's going on with that case. But let's look at Ramos Dragon Engine. Six for a 4-4 four, four flyer. I already like it, but check this out. Check how big it gets. Whenever you cast a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Ramos Dragon Engine for each of that spell's colors. So if you cast a five color dragon, you get five plus one plus one counters. And then if you have doubling season, now you have 10 and he's going to become a huge, huge creature. At six, you can get him on a battlefield really early on for a dragon and start going to town with, if he is your commander, commander damage. So remove five plus one plus one counters from it. Double white, double blue, double black, double red, double green to your mana pool. Activate this ability only once each turn. It's so sick when you think about it. Because if you're producing all this mana, right, what you're going to do is you're going to play more dragons. When you cast more dragons, you get more plus one plus one tokens. I would be I would not be shocked if there was some infinite combo of doubling seasons. The great part about being in five colors, you are in five colors. You have access to all the best tutors, all the best doubling effects. Your five colors, and that's amazing. So actually, maybe this is not a good EDH commander now because he's probably a good card and you can tutor for him, but as a commander you actually restricting yourself in colors, I believe. Um, somebody leave me a comment below if that's correct. But maybe the mana symbols in the card make it a five color. Is this five colors? It's just artifacts if you use them as a commander. Anyway, it looks uh, like a very, very strong card and something that... Wow. It's a mythic. It's a big, bad mythic. And it is one of the strongest dragons I've seen, especially in EDH, where you will be able to loop this for an infinite combo quite easily. Get mana, play dragons, draw cards. Get mana, play dragons, get draw cards. Now back to what is happening here. This is the name of a podcast. I've never listened to the podcast, but the podcast has been on record saying that they don't own an Instagram account. So essentially a person found these leaks. It's unknown exactly how they found the leaks, but obviously they wanted attention. And that's why all the leaks have advertisement to their Instagram, which is now removed. And he was slowly going to drip these leaks time and time again. He has a post where he said that he has two more for tomorrow and then he had to take down his account. So he definitely has pictures of the entire dragon deck. Now, obviously he's gonna leak the most, the most splashy dragons first, and then he's going to leak the other cards. The cards that I'm most interested in is actually the mana base on this deck. It's five colors. The mana base has to be good. 
one of the most frustrating things is not being able to play your cards due to the fact that you don't have the correct mana. I cannot see that being a problem in this set. So is there valuable reprints? We know Scion of the Euro Dragon is in this set, and that is a very pricey card. So when we talk about leaks and we talk about people getting their hands on Wizard of the Coast does not like that. They do not like leaks. They like a controlled environment where they can give these cards to a notable MTG celebrity to release whenever they want to. And that's what they do. But having access to an entire Dragon Tribal deck means that Dragon cards will go up in price. That's just a fact. And the person who knows about this Dragon Tribal deck ahead of time, they could have speculated on a lot of dragon cards. Because dragons was not a tribe I expected it to be in the set, because I expected monocolored tribes. I My gut feeling was they would just be monocolored elves, monocolored goblins, monocolored merfolks, angels maybe. But dragons, even if it was dragons, I expected it just to be mostly red, maybe a splash of black. But to see five color dragons now that is interesting. That truly is something that I couldn't have predicted. Will we get other five colored tribal decks? Elementals maybe? That would be interesting. Maybe even slivers. Now that would be the best because those things are expensive for what they are. Anyway, he clearly wanted the uh, attention because all of these things are Every picture he has taken or every picture he has received, he said that he doesn't own these, goes back to promoting his Instagram, which is now gone. And it's curious as to how does he get this and how does Wizard of Coast shut him down? Because should this have been a typical leak where the leak does is not you know pointing the finger back at them? It would be very difficult for them to be like, oh, this is the person who's doing this. But luckily for Wizards of Coast, this is a, the first leak I've seen where the person who's leaking is telling people that this is them and they are leaking it. And most typical leaks, you just have a card and then the card is leaked. And then eventually a day later, the person, the secondary source, then puts their stamp on it. But it's not the original person posting it. So whenever you would get the original leak, it would come out without any of these stamps, like at turn one thought sees. Great advertisement for the podcast, by the way. I've never watched the podcast, but uh, I, I mean, it is definitely a great promotion for them because they have gotten their name out there. So let's talk about the future of leaks and the way that this happens. So typically, Wizards of the Coast gives these cards to people they like, uh, people in the community they like, ahead of time so they can make videos. So this is why I believe he has a whole deck, right? And he used to be at MTG Newbie, which I remember having him comment on my videos. He may have a YouTube channel. How an ordinary person gets an entire EDH deck a few months beforehand, it's astounding that it can even happen this way, right? And of this nature, five colored dragon, wow. Did not see that tribal coming. I mean, dragons would have been the tribe I chosen, but I would have expected them to be mono red. Five colored dragons means two things, two that cards, types of cards are going to spike. Dragon cards, or dragon car cards that help dragons. And more importantly, the second bunch of cards, five color mana generation cards. Chromantic Lantern is going to be really good. Uh, anything that can generate five colors will be good. So how does this leak happen? Who really knows? It is interesting that it keeps happening and Wizard of the Coast keeps trying to respond to it. But at the end of the day, uh, the, the cards are already out there, right? We know it's five color dragons. I think it's very exciting. It would have been more exciting had it been released, you know, closer to when you could buy the deck. So this person has cost Wizard of the Coast quite a bit in terms of promotion, uh, promotional value. 
But yeah, it's quite uh, fascinating. Let me just say this. Uh, I know this as a first-hand fact. People get stuff early. Stores get stuff early. People who play at stores get stuff early. That's why on YouTube, you can find any number of people opening boxes of a, a set that hasn't been publicly or hasn't been released yet in the public. And you wonder, huh, how does this keep happening? Their system is very broken, and this will continue to happen, and Wizard of the Coast will continue to punish for these actions. They, I mean, they punished a bunch of judges who posted about leaks at a, on a I believe it was a private Facebook, and now those judges, or these judges have sued Wizards of the Coast. I don't know if the lawsuit is still happening, but these leaks have really allowed Wizards of the Coast to come after people without fixing the problem. The, the problem is some people are getting these cards early and taking photos of them. There can't be that many decks of this out there. You should be able to trace back who is. So the person on Instagram, we were to believe him, and I think this is correct. He's a secondary source. Someone gave him the pictures. There cannot be so many, that many people with this deck right now. Now, could it be someone that Wizard of the Coast gave the deck to to do a product review? I think that's the most likely example. The point, uh, people keep bringing up the fact that printers do this all the time. If printers were to do this, they would not be in business for very long because it's not just magic cards. They're printing other more important stuff like comic books uh, with very shocking endings, right? This stuff isn't going to happen at that corporate level. Those people are not going to last very long. So I'm expecting what my prediction would be or my best guess would be Wizard of Coast gives products out early to some individuals. Those individuals share this information with vendors, maybe. That's why you see a lot of buyouts before they happen. Information is gold in terms of if you know Five Color Dragons is coming out and no one else knows Five Color Dragons is coming out, easy speculation, easy money made. Buy the dragons that are not in the set and you already know the dragons in the set. And then speculate on five color mana generation because that's what these people are going to need your casual players are going to go out there walmart buy the pre-constructed deck and be like oh i want to make it a little bit better oh chromantic lantern that's a good card let me buy that card oh bloom tenders oh that's the kind of good birds of paradise oh yeah yeah we could probably need one of those so uh that is that uh it's very interesting and something that will continue to happen and Wizard of the Coast won't take blame for it. They'll be like, oh, it's not us. We're not the problem. It's the leakers. The leakers are the problem. <laughs> not the fact that we don't, we haven't yet created a system where we know who is leaking the actual cards. I don't believe this MTG newbie, turn one dot sees the MTG finance guy. I mean, he just doesn't seem like a guy with access to this type of information. He probably got it from a friend of a friend of a friend. And when you ask why do vendors buy certain cards before they spike in price, inside insider information, if you know Five Color Dragons is coming out and you know casual players are going to buy that, then you know what other cards you should stock up. And you know what cards to sell, like Scion of the Euro Dragon. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.